Well, to set the stage, um, I guess I was. I'm gonna. I'm gonna suggest that I was a typical teenager. You know, uh, from year 16 to uh, to certainly 20, maybe even 21. Um, you know, Saturday nights were more important than good rock and roll, and you know, maybe picking up the girlfriend and and, and, and uh, you know, going out to town for the night. So uh, there wasn't uh, there wasn't a lot of business. There wasn't a lot of uh, you know, what am I going to do with my life and where am I going with this and so forth. I mean, I got into promoting rock and roll music because it was an easy easy way to make money, and there was good money. In it. I mean. You know, back in those days, I could pick up two, three thousand bucks a weekend just doing something that I really enjoyed doing. Well, then when that all kind of wore off, um, I looked at the farm and I looked at my parents and I looked at what they what they built and just the lifestyle, I guess, at that point in time was the most attractive. Part of it. We uh, we had a close family. Um, we're uh, we're a God fearing family, so uh, it was worship every 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 Sunday, and uh, got together with relatives and uncles and aunts and so forth. It was really warm and fuzzy and good. And I'll tell you that rock and roll business was a tough business, you know. So the attraction was there. My brother was uh, was back home. And uh, started in operations with my father, uh, quite a modest operation. And being it that I had some experience or exposure to to business, because you know, even though there was money to be made in rock and roll, it was it was somewhat structured, and, and there were the do's and the don'ts. I thought I had something to offer, and uh, came home. Now I should mention too, though, that uh, for the most part, the rock and roll thing was like in, in, in October to in April, because I was home every summer helping in planting the crops and harvesting the crops and so on. But uh, it all came to a head uh, at about the age of 21. Years old. When I came home, I sat down with my with my father. And uh, shared with them a concept that I had, had with how we could take the farm and move it forward. <coughs> of course, with my involvement. And uh, I saw it, that it was important, that it would be on an equal basis to suggest that, uh, you know, from the balance sheet that he had had and created, and what little my brother put together up until that point, we just pool all of our resources, split it a third, a third, a third, and away we move forward. And uh, there was, you know, there was the concept, there was detail to the plan, uh, expansion was very much a, you know, a big part of it. They, uh, at that point, they would have been farming about 3,000 acres. And uh, we were intending on taking it up to 10 to 12,000 acres. 